Hey, my gorgeous Sagis. So ready for the dailies. Um, I will say I have put a deal on for February the 13th on the website. And there's also an ongoing October deal that I'll finish on Halloween on midnight on the 31st. Uh, so that's available on the website in the description box below. Also, my social media links, Instagram and my Facebook business pages are there if you want to keep up with my daily jargon. So I'm going to jump straight in for my Sagis. We've got... Two. Perfect timing and ground yourself. Ground yourself and perfect timing. So let's see what's going on. Perfect timing. Now is the moment. Perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Someone else had this and I can't remember it were. On top of that though, you've got to ground yourself. When you detach from your awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's, a pleas it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. What I got straight away then was it's time to, turn, it's time to put action into daydreams. It's time to turn the daydreams into actually something. Because um, the grinding yourself is like, like kind of floating off with your daydreams, what you really want in the perfect time. And it's like kind of do it now. So I, I kind of feel like it's time to step out. The, it's to turn them daydreams into actions. Turn them into something. So what are you daydreaming about? Because I feel like you actually, you may be manifesting, not realising it. So we've got obstacles and challenges. And I kind of feel like some of you are overthinking in a sense of, well, how do I get there? Or how do I create this change? Because we've got a five. How am I going to get over there? It feels like it's constantly obstacles and challenges. But these orbs, they're actually, you know, you could bat them out of the way. They're not exactly, they're not as big as you kind of think they are. Or, or you're giving something or other situations too much power and control. Um, and sometimes we need to just step out of the comfort zone in order to make the changes that we need. We've got love begins. So it could be, I don't go forward in love, you know. But again, the Ace of Cups is about what makes you happy and what makes you feel at home within yourself and around you. The Ace of Cups is a massive sign from Spirit saying, like, they're going to put in the same amount of effort that you put in. So I do feel like action is definitely needed. Could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like this is more about you starting a new stream. A new stream of love, a new stream of finances. Maybe there's a side line coming in, you know, that type of thing. But it's about getting that getting that start on, making the start. Because then we've got recognition and reward. If you actually have that, if the ball the balls to do it, if you actually have the balls to just say, do you know what? I'm gonna do it. It's my time. I'm gonna do it. You will be recognized. So I feel like they're kind of pushing you. Ground yourself, keep yourself grounded, but it is perfect time to like take that leap in something. Tell me about the obstacles and challenges. Whoa. We have a flyer. We've got the ace of wands and the empress. So some massages, there may be pregnancies, fertility, that type of thing. Um, but again, it's about a rebirth. And the Ace of Wands is advancement. So whenever I see the Ace of Wands, it's almost like I'm seeing a plane flying over with one of them big signs saying, change your life now. So they're telling you, you're going through a rebirth. It's about advancement. It's time to go and grab that start. The Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, your fire, your, your energy, Sagittarius Leo Aries. She's creative. She's magic. It's about getting creative with your life. You're already creative with your daydreams. It's time to turn them dreams into reality because you will be recognised. There is recognition coming. The Two of Swords in reverse. The blindfold will come off. So the overthinking. So the Two of Swords that way is like overthinking. You know, we're stuck to the crows in the head. It's the force. They're in reverse. So you're turning something from like a dream state into reality. So you're very like manifestational today. Uh, um, why don't you call your age? May I have everything in short? Um, Sagittarius, it's about keeping yourself grounded. Keep yourself grounded and chasing your dreams. Love it. Bye.